I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about a tutorial on positive and negative limits. Now, limits are often used in uh, calculus, and so when you talk about positive and negative limits, you can think about n limits that will give you positive and negative results, but sometimes positive and negative signs can be used in this way. So, for example, if you have limit, let's just say as x approaches 3, and there's a positive sign here, what that actually tells you here is you're approaching the number 3 from the right side of 3. That's what that actually means. From a number line perspective, if you have the number 3 there, approaching 3 from the right means you're approaching 3 from this direction. That means you're talking about the numbers greater than 3, in the, but get close to 3. So for example, it can be 4, then 3, 3.2. 1, 3.01, 3.001, but you're going to get as close to 3 as possible. On the flip side, if you have x approaches 3 with a negative sign over there, that means you're approaching 3 from the left hand side. So what that means here is numbers to the left of 3 are 1, 2, 2.9, 2.99, etc, etc, etc. So that's one way to think about positive and negative limits this way, but they're really talking about right hand and left hand limits. The other limits you might actually see are limit as x approaches negative infinity and limit as x approaches positive infinity. All this means here is you want to consider numbers as x approaches negative infinity, meaning you're going to plug in larger and larger negative numbers, and x approaches positive infinity, you have to think about what happens to x as it grows from a positive large direction. In other words, if you plug in numbers like 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, what happens to the function as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger on the positive side? So this kind of gives you an idea as to what these positive and negative signs mean when it comes to limits. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief tutorial on positive and negative limits.